Hi Year 6, this afternoon science lesson is about habitats. Now we all know that all living things need a suitable habitat, a suitable diet and the ability to socialise. But we're just going to be focusing on habitat. So I'm going to use this uh, presentation that Mr Barker is going to put a link on the dojo page for you also to have a little look at. And we're going to focus on four animals that hopefully you can design an enclosure for at the end. So we're going to imagine being a ring-tailed lemur. So it shows on the map that they live at south, in South Madagascar. It tells us what our habitat is, hot, scrubby, tropical forests. And it gives us a little bit of information about the lemur. So you might choose to do your habitat about the lemur. And we know that to be healthy, they need lots of sunlight, lots of exercise outdoors. Again, need others to socialise with, but a nice warm enclosure for indoors and it to be a little bit like forests. So if you choose to do your lemur, that's what it could look like. The next one you might fancy doing a two-toed sloth that they live in the Amazon rainforest. They like it nice and humid up in the canopy of the rainforest. And again, there's some facts there about the two-toed sloth. And again, they like lots of sunlight. They like it very warm and humid. Lots of branches that they can hang from. Lots of places to hide and sleep. So lots of ideas that you could use to put in your enclosure. Thinking about a hum humbled penguin. They live on the coast of Chile and Peru. They like rocky islands and obviously on the coast. Um, the facts on that actual page are actually wrong. Um, they are super social penguins and they nest in guano or old bird droppings, which is a popular fertiliser. And this means their habitat is threatened and they find it difficult to breed. So they're now classed as vulnerable with only over 12,000 left in the wild. But they're thriving in captivity. So many zoos, you will find this type of penguins. And again, they like lots of cold, deep water to swim in. Hot, rocky ground to nest in. They like tunnels. And again, lots of other penguins to socialise with. And the last one, a green iguana. Now they live, again, across the rainforest, Central and Southern America and the Caribbean islands. And again, they like it nice and humid in the rainforests. So you might choose to do your habitat about the iguanas. They like lots of branches for climbing and for shedding. They like, again, a hot, humid environment, hot rocks that they can warm up on. But they also like cold spots and damp places to hide. So I've chosen to do the penguin, which if I just go back to the fact sheets, you can also look at um, the fact sheet. So there's some information about your two toed sloth. There's our information about the penguin and I will take a picture of these and put them on Dojo as well. Let's have a look at the other two. So it gives us some facts and a little bit about their habitat, the green iguana and the fruit bat. So here's my little enclosure for my penguins. I reused my under the sea box. So I've got lots of rocks for them to climb on. They've got lots of penguins to socialize with. There is a little tunnel in the corner because it also said they liked tunnels to hide in. So why not have a go at creating your own enclosure for one of those four animals? So they've got a nice suitable habitat for them to thrive in. Okay, post all your work on Google Classroom and we can all have a little good look at it and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.